nephoscope was an instrument used by scientists a long time ago in the 18th century to learn the direction of the wind by watching clouds. Near the Earth, the direction that the wind blows doesn't always tell us which direction the air is moving because there are a lot of things like houses and trees to get in the way of the airflow. The clouds can give us a much better understanding of how fast the wind is blowing. So we are going to build a nephoscope to get an accurate measurement. This is what our nephoscope is going to look like once it is done. The materials that you will use for this craft are a piece of paper, a marker, scissors, tape, and a small mirror. If you don't have a small mirror, don't worry. I will show you how you can do this craft without one. First, you will take your mirror and trace its shape on a piece of paper. Cut out this tracing and see if it lines up with your mirror. Next, take a circular container that is pretty wide and trace the bottom of it to make a circle that fills your paper. Cut out the circle that you have traced so that there is a hole in your paper. I cut out my circles by folding my paper and making a smaller circle. I will then use this smaller circle to cut out the big circle. Next, you will take this paper and tape it to your mirror. On the piece of paper, write the four cardinal directions. The cardinal directions are the directions found on a map or a compass. So this is north, south, east, and west. I will also put the directions that go between these four, northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. After that, your nephoscope is completed. To use your nephoscope, go outside on a day that has some visible clouds. You want the clouds to be cumulus clouds, so light and fluffy like in cartoons. Line up your nephoscope so, so that the end on your nephoscope is pointing north. This can be done by using a compass, and if you don't have a compass, most phones have one already on them. To use a compass, all you have to do is look at the needle on the compass and rotate around until that needle lines up with the N on the compass. Then you will be facing north. Once you've lined up the nephoscope, you can watch the clouds through the mirror and figure out what direction they are moving towards. And there you go, you have finished your nephoscope. Now, if you don't have a mirror, you can still make a nephoscope just fine. What you will do is take a piece of paper and trace a circle in the middle. You will then write the cardinal directions onto the paper on both sides and go outside to find some clouds. Again, cumulus clouds. Outside, you will face your end to the north using a compass, and then you will hold up your nephoscope so that you can watch the clouds moving through the hole you cut. And through that, you can see the direction of the cloud and see which way the air is moving. Okay, so now here is your challenge. Now that you have a nephoscope, can you track and figure out each day this week what direction the clouds are going and what direction the wind is going? What you can do is for every day, go out, measure and figure out what direction it's going and then check with your parents and use a weather app or online. Also, the cool thing is, is you can also see with the nephoscope how strong the wind is because you can tell if the clouds are moving faster or slower. So try and guess that too. Send that to me at the end of the week. Also send me pictures of your nephoscope because I would really love to see it. And yeah, I look forward to getting outside with you again. See you.